All right, good morning, good morning, good morning, good morning, good morning. Thank you, thank you, thank you for coming first in person and online. Welcome to my friend's house. That's that friend depiction. Um, and thanks for coming. Um, welcome, new friend. How do you do your thing? There's nothing to think about. And new friends online, the same thing. The only thing you have to remember is to serve yourself and, and be nice to yourself and, uh, and uh, just do exactly what your body calls for. And sometimes that's not always, you know, readily obvious. So maybe what you need isn't always what you think. But go and find yourself and go find a place that you can hold yourself by the hand and, and walk with yourself through times of challenge and, and, and discomfort and all that jazz so you can, at the end, of practice old hands with yourself on the way home with a smile on your face, feeling free. So that is it. So here we go. It is Sunday morning. Thanks for joining us. We had a little rain delay yesterday. And this is the Bohemian Song Society, yay for them. They're going to make your ears feel happy, so much so that they'll want to smooch each other. That's it. My name is On Howard. Thank you for being here. I appreciate you celebrating with me today. And have fun. Let's do it. So, no pain, but get out there. So we have an opportunity. This spring has been wonderfully conducive for us doing yoga outside, and, and I'm so excited. I'm so excited that we even have the chance to share this way, and it's going to be hard to get back inside. But we haven't had any kind of real hot days, you know, and it's by far not hot, but it is warm enough today. So we're going to find expression in our bodies that happens when the temperature elevates. So when we get up there, your muscle is going to elongate a little bit quicker. They're going to let loose. The Golgi tendon organ in between the muscles, you know, in the middle of the muscle, is going to be maybe a 10 amp instead of a 5 amp, you know what I mean? So you have a little more room for expression. Go out there today is a great day to go find more length. Go find more length in your muscles. So you've done this for years and years and years, and we do this the same way over and over again at 72 degrees Fahrenheit. Well, maybe it's a little warmer today. We dig out there and find a new depth in our practice so that when we go ahead back to our 72 degree climate control environment, we can dig deeper. It's all about getting deeper. It's all about getting closer to home, and it's all about learning yourself. So go learn. Breathe in through your nose. Let's sit, babies. Sit up nice and tall. <clears throat> Breathe into the nose, retain the breath just for an instant, and let it go. Breathe in through the nose and activate the base of the spine. Send length and the crown of the head reaches tall. And on the exhalation, smooth the edges. <clears throat> Pull the shoulders away from the ears and start to settle. Start to settle into your consciousness. Be cool. Breathe in. Spread the ribs wide and fill your body with life force. Prana. Exhale long and slow and settle, settle, settle the ripples on your conscious lake. Breathe in. And exhale slower and slower and slower. Atta Yoga Nushasana. Here lies the commencement of yoga. Inhale, lift. Exhale, smooth. The bottom of the next exhalation, I want you to inhale, but I want you to just brush your tonsils with the breath. Just hit and constrict the back of the throat until it makes ocean sounds. Ujjayi Pranayama. Oh, ocean sounds. Make them loud and clear so you can hear them, something you can come back to, make sure you are here. When you do not hear them anymore, that means you have drifted. No pun intended. So come back. <clears throat> Long, slow, gentle, lapsing ocean waves, which could be in our future here in a couple hours. What a day. Throw your, soles, your toes in the sand. But for right now, let those gentle ocean waves just lapse over your consciousness. Allowing you to be present, leaving everything out there behind. Angst. Frustration. All those go away with every exhalation. Until you can embrace the moment right now. And you know for a fact that yesterday's gone and tomorrow's out of reach. So right here, right now, just for the next hour and 50 minutes, I want you to be as selfish as you could be. You can be selfless later. The 
Bottom of the next exhalation, inhale the shoulders to the ears. Contract the trapezius, roll them back and down. Fingers find the floor, engage your malabanda. Lift your navel inward and upward and towards the spine. Shoulders back, chest is out, chin is slightly tucked. Turn the palms over as you inhale up, reach up. Now push the palms together, push. Take your gaze up, push harder to each palm. Push, push, push. And slowly bring only the chin to the chest and reach back with those hands. Keep the arms straight, reach and create some of this, yeah, space along the rib. Exhale, push away side walls, flex the wrists as tight as you can. Engaging your mulabanda, chin to chest. Turn the palms over, reach out and then up. Take your gaze up, thumbs together, palms together. Now push, 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 push. Interlace the fingers, turn them towards the sky, reach. Reach, but stay rooted, reach higher, higher, higher. Bring your chin to your chest, reach back with the arms. Reach, reach, reach. Exhale, push away side walls. Keep those arms behind the ears. Good. Flex the wrist, fingers face down. Start to reach outward. Stop at three and nine. Hold. Lift the pelvic floor. Take your gaze up. Slowly bring the backs of the wrists together. Now push, 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 push. We're taking contraction into the shoulders. Start to roll those palms forward. Thumbs together first. Yes, palms together. Now reach, but stay rooted. Push. And exhale, slow as you take contraction out of the shoulders. Bring the hands down through the center line. Mindful as you go by your third eye, not to judge. Slow by your lips as you remember to say kind and truthful words for the rest of your day. Plant your thumbs into your chest. Bow your head, set an attention for your practice. Create and maintain peace within and around you. Good. Drop those hands that touch the back of the legs as you inhale them up. Exhale, push away sidewall. Stop at three and nine. Gotta wake up these shoulders. Send the palms towards the front of the room. Good. Keep both sit bones completely grounded and the arms completely perfectly parallel to the ground as you reach to the left. Reach, reach, reach. But keep your hip grounded. Inhale through center, keeping the chin parallel. Reach. Arms parallel. Reach, reach, reach. Till that sit bone wants to look. At least to your left now. Or to your right, whatever side. Don't matter. Inhale, come on through. Good. Other side. Come on through center and on the exhalation, right arm under the left. Walk the fingers back. When the elbows are stacked, bring the backs of the arms together, Gadandasana. Spread your fingers wide and inhale, reach up. Exhale, round the upper back. Inhale up, reach, reach, reach. Untether the arms, but stay rooted. And on the exhalation, twist to the left. Right hand coming outside, left knee, lift the heart. Exhale. Break the rust. Breathe. Lengthen the spine. You can't twist the spine until you lengthen it first. So each inhale gets you taller. Each exhalation gets you deeper. Come on back through center. Untether the posture. Grab those knees. Remove any flesh from your bum. Pull the heart through. Hinge forward with a flat back. And halfway through, take your hip circles to the left. You know the routine, it's just an organic movement. I'd like to just break some rust off the body and close your eyes now. We just did a little tutorial the other day on some anatomy in the pelvic and hip region. Well, when that goes up, we'll let you know. Take a peek at it. But for now, I just want you to close your eyes and watch the video that is you. Ground down through your sits bones. Allow your upper body to be big and your lower body to be grounded. You're, now, release the head, neck, and shoulders. Let it roll around, chin to the chest. Ear to the shoulder, across the back, ear to the shoulder, chin to the chest. Close your eyes. Move with your breath. Relax the low jaw. And start to explore. So see what's going on below the surface. And break some of those chains. Come on through center, remove any flesh from under your bum. Good. Take those shoulders up to the ears, contract those traps, pull them up, back, and down. Now they find the floor, fingertips just drizzle. Pull your heart through more. Pull your heart through more. Good. Send the crown of the head up and slightly tuck the chin. Suck your navel in close. You can spread your ribs wide. Lift it towards the spine. Shoulders behind the ears as you inhale up. Reach, reach, reach. Exhale, push away side walls. Stop at three and nine. Spread the fingers wide. Reach. Spread the fingers wide. Palms face me further. Stretch the skin across the palms of your hands and then lean to the left, keeping both sides bones grounded. Inhale, come on through. Exhale, go to the other side. Come on, breathe. Keep those arms parallel. Keep those sits bones grounded. Go as far as you can until you feel the expression in the IT joint. 
And as you come through center, left arm under the right, give yourself a hug. Elbows together, you know the routine on the exhalation, bring the backs of the forearms together, opening up the upper back. Stop right here. Feel what's going on. It's happening in the rhomboids between the scapula. Inhale the arms up. Exhale, tip your eagle forward. Rounding the upper back now, creating space between those chicken bones. Inhale, lift and untether the arms. Reach, but stay rooted. And on the exhalation, twist to the right. Left hand coming outside the right knee. Get tall first. Exhale, bring it out. Navel, ribs, shoulder, chin, and eyes. And then close them. Untether that posture. Grab those knees. Remove any flesh. Pull the heart through. And then take them hip circles in the other direction. And if they're not perfectly round, good. Such is life. But it's a good chance to do it. <clears throat> it's a good chance to create some space. It's a good chance to break some of the rust off you. Relax the head, neck, shoulders, and face down. Soften the skin between your eyebrows. Soften your mind. Move with your breath. <coughs> Excuse me. All righty, kids. Come on through center. It's time. You know the routine. Keep the toes crossed. Eddie, this one's for you, my friend. We're going to work this out. Keep the knees out wide, the toes crossed. Align the hip, excuse me, the wrist, elbow, and shoulder in line. Pull the heart through. Keep your knees out wide and soften your cosmic heart. Oh, yeah. That's the low body. Now take your traction out of your ass. Pull your heart through. Look up. Good. Extra circle of breaths. Release your butt more. Soften your belly more. Pull your heart through more. Get your shoulders out of your ears. Roll them back and down. Release. And come on down. Now walk them knees up to me now. It's all right. We got to do it, buddy. This is what we got to do. 90 degrees in your hip. 90 degrees in your knee. 90 degrees in your ankle. Turn the inner ankle down. Soften your low body. Bend those knees more, Emily Joe. I cannot take any more complacency. Don't make me get up. I'll stop this car right now. Soften your cosmic heart and look up. Hands under the shoulders, roll them back and down. Squeeze the scapula together first. Keep everything low. Look how quick you all want to get out. Stay low. Roll the shoulders back and down. Lift just your heart. Oh, that's nice. Yeah. Bring the toes together. Lift the knees. Go, ooh. Look up. All right, kids. Enough nonsense. Time to wiggle. Meet me in table. Align the wrist, elbow, and shoulder. Knees are hip distance apart. All righty. Got to fix all my equipment, my post. Break down Brittany microphone. I got going right. <laughs> there we go. Tuck your toes, drop your belly, pull your heart through, look up. Exhale, round the back, out, flex of the spine. Tuck toes, drop your belly, pull your heart through, look up. Exhale, round the back. Tuck toes one more time. Marjasana, Vitalasana, cat and cow. And exhale, lift the back, scoop out your belly. Neutral spine, right knee in, inhale the left leg behind you. Roll out the ankle. Exhale, round the back, knee to chest. Inhale, it back. Exhale, bring it to the elbow on that side and squeeze. Look over the shoulder. Inhale, back. Exhale, round the back, more cat flexion of the spine as you bring the heel closer to the abdomen. Inhale, back. Take the right foot off and open to the left. A little kneeling art of Shandrasana. You know I like it to start and open up the upper back. Reach up in the left hand. Bend the left knee if it serves you. Grab that foot and push the hand away. But don't grab it with ego. Grab it because you know you needed it. But if you don't, leave it alone. Open your heart. Good. Release that foot. Reach up in the left hand first. Slowly take your gaze to your right thumb and place it between the hands. Extending the left leg. You fall, Darda Hanuman. Inhale up, bend the knee. Bring the arms with you, Anjani Asana. Monkey pose, right hip comes forward. Good. Exhale, rein and frame. Point the toes, passive flexion. Inhale up, bend the knee to its in line, Hanuman Asana. Good. Interlace the fingers, turn them back. Chin to the chest. Lift the ribs, keep the chin to the chest. Lift the ribs some more. Now relax the head, neck, shoulders, and face and look up. Oh, yeah. Good. Slowly bend the elbows, hammock to head. Lift the heart higher. 
bring only the chin to the chest and extend the arms. And then slowly twist to the left. Following your left thumb. Drop the left hand down, inhale up. Peaceful, peaceful, twisted monkey warrior. Women of the arms, the right hand comes inside the left foot, you open to the left. Good. Nice. Reach forward and bend that right knee. Take the foot with the hand. Bring your heel into your ass and give yourself a little love. Good. Drop down to the right forearm. Oh, we're getting it down. Keep that foot, you love it. Release the foot and stack the forearms. Come on to the knife edge. Find your lizard. Yeah. Open up some space. It's fun. All right, we're progressing on this move every week. Bring, come back up to the hands. Bend the right knee, bring your hips way back. Reach through, grab the foot. Yes, then come back forward onto the forearm. Lean to the right and extend your left leg. Get it. Do it, Aubrey Little Bean. <laughs> bring the left foot down, release the right foot. Hands under the shoulders, engage the quad, find your high lizard lunge. Oh, that's nice. Cap flexion of the spine as you inhale the left leg high. Exhale, round the back knee to chest. Inhale it up. Bend the knees, stack the hips, look under the armpit. Good. Exhale, round the back, sneak the left foot under the right, open right. Roll across the heels. Come to bring your bum down, you're facing the wrong way. Good. Exhale, fold. Move up these to Konasana, flex your feet facing the wrong way, good. Inhale up, place the hand back and down dog where it was, the left, turn the right palm up. Push down and lift your hips. Rotate the upper body, right hand comes down, left leg goes high. Exhale, round the back, knee to chest. Inhale it up, stack the hips again. Drop it over, funky dog. Lift your heart. Breathe peace. Yes. Left hand down, left leg high. Exhale, round the back knee to chest. Drop it under the navel, inhale the right. Touch your chin. Bend the left knee. Place the foot. Bend the right knee. And inhale up, drop your belly. Good. Inhale the left arm. Oh yeah. Yes, yeah, keep, no, you gotta bend your right knee. Place the left knee in the right. <laughs> oh, bend the left knee. Oh, yeah, that's it. Release the right foot, left hand down, and walk your hands back. Sit on your heels. All right, so typical to what you used to, we're gonna do it backwards. Hands to heart center. Lift the knees. Splay the metatarsals wide. Good. Open the ankle. Have fun. Reach back with your right hand. Lift your heart. Reach back with your left hand. Interlace the fingers. Oh, keep your knees up. Drop your wings back. Fingers face your bottom. Lift your knees. Lift your heart. Keep your bottom down. Relax your head, neck, and shoulder. Good. Chin to the chest. Come on forward. Hands in front. Tuck ten toes. Hands to the heart center. Lean back. Oh, yeah. You're getting it now. Lean back. Lean back. Inhale the right arm. Inhale the left. Lift your heart. Drop your wings. Lift your heart. Relax your head. Nice. Chin to chest. Good. Come forward. Hands underneath. Meet me in toe stand. Let's do it. Vinyasa. Vinyasa. Let's flow. Lift, spread the fingers wide, lift the hips. Place the knees on the back. Hold, Vakasana. And when you're ready, inhale up dog. Exhale down dog. You go babies. Yes, fly crow. Go Roxy Rocks. Send them legs back whenever you're ready. Kicking back, inhaling up dog. Exhaling down dog, yes. Good job. Send them back, Wells. Good job. 
Lift your heels, bend your knees, meet me in table, other side. Very good. Align the wrist, elbow, and shoulder, come to distal fingertips. Push down with the top of the feet. Shoulders in front of the wrist. All right, now place the hand back down. Equitable in the distribution of weight. Tuck them toes, drop your belly. Pull your heart through, look up. Exhale, round the back, cat. Tuck toes, drop your belly, pull your heart through, smile. Exhale, round the back, Vitalasana, Mardyasana. Neutral spine, left knee in. Inhale, the right. Exhale, round the back, knee to chest. Inhale, I back. Bring it to the right elbow, look over the right shoulder and squeeze your ribs. Inhale, back. Exhale, round the back, knee to chest, bring the heel in closer, lift the upper back. Inhale, send it back, kickstand the left foot open to the right, kneeling variations of Ardha Chandrasana. Find the posture if it serves you and don't if it don't. Push that hand away. Breathe peace. Nice. Release that foot, reach up with the right hand first. Gaze down at your left hand. Slowly bring that right foot down. Between the hands, extending the right leg, folding forward, Ardha Hadha Manasana. Inhale up, take a generous bend to the knee, towards in line with the ankle, Anjaniyasana. Bring the left hip forward, square the hips and shoulders. Lift the back ribs, lift the front ribs, look up. Relax your head, neck, and face. Exhale, frame the foot, extend the right leg and fold. Shoulders equidistant to the ground, Hanumanasana, Ardha Hanumanasana. Inhale up, Anjaniyasana. Push the hands together. All right, interlace the fingers, push them away. Now, chin to the chest, Alejandra Banda. Take the arms behind the ears. Press the palms towards the sky. Lift the back ribs. Lift the front ribs, and then relax your head as you look up, and maybe even back. Oh, yeah. Nice. Bend the elbows, hammock the head. Reach, lift, lift, lift. Chin only to the chest as you extend the arms out wide. Palms face forward, and then you follow your twist to the right. Drop the right hand down, turn the left palm up. Inhale, twisted, peaceful monkey warrior. Windmill those arms till it comes to the inside edge of the right foot and you open to the right. Reach up, create space in the upper back. Lean forward enough to bend the left knee, grab the foot, bring your heel into your ass. <coughs> Excuse me. Oh, it's there, little bean. Good. Drop down onto your left forearm. Keep your shoulder open. Come to the knife edge of the right foot. Beautiful, release the foot and stack the forearm, squaring the hips and shoulder, deep lizard lunge. Relax. Break some of the chains of shit off your heliosacral capsule now. Get rid of the rust. Relax. All right, hands under the shoulders, come on up. Lean back, bend the left knee. Bring your hips way back, reach under with your right hand, find the foot, then come on forward back onto the form. Then you lean way left and inhale the right leg. Pointing the toe, of course. You love it. <laughs> well done, silly gooses. Bring the right hand, right foot down, release the foot. Hands under the shoulders, engage the left toe and quad. Deep, high, lizard lunge. Come forward a little bit more. Come forward a little bit more. Then round the upper back, inhaling right leg high. Exhale, round the back, knee to chest. Inhale it up, bend the knees, stack the hips. Look under your right armpit. Good. Exhale, round the back, knee to chest. Sneak the right foot under the left. Open left. Fall in triangle. Rotate across your heels. Bring your bum down. You reach up, facing the wrong way. Flexing the feet, fold. Ubo vista konasana. Inhale up, place the right hand on the mat where it was in down dog. Left palm to the sky. Push with the heels. Inhale your heart. Lift the hips. Rotate the upper body, left hand down, right leg high. Exhale, round the back, knee to chest. Inhale it up. Bend the knees, stack the hips. This time, look under your left elbow. Send it over, funky thing. Breathe peace. 
Rotate the upper body, right hand down. Right leg hot. Exhale, round the back. Drop the knee as a navel. Inhale, the left. Touch your chin and chest. Good. Bend the right knee. Place the left knee in it. Bend the left knee. Inhale, up. Good. Keep it up. And then steady the core as you inhale your right arm. Woo, baby. Bring the right hand down. Release the left knee to meet the right. Sit on your heels. Invert those rests. 90, 90, 90. Send them in front of the knees. Place everything you got on the back of the arms. Come forward. My Ross. Not the best day for that. <laughs> Come forward. Put all your junk on the shelf. Trust your heart's down and breathe. Bend the elbows out of here, all the way, 90 degrees. Get it, get it, get it. Good, go up. Nice job. <laughs> Knees down, toes together, keep them wide. Head down, Velocity. Good job. Relax. Put sun on the back of your neck. Good. Yes. Redefining redneck. Relax. Come back to your intention. Close your eyes and listen. There's red-winged blackbirds in the Bohemian Song Society in your ears. Heavens, Murgatroyd. What a day. Huh? The risk of being cliche, but I'm as cliche as it gets. Another unbelievable day to have an unbelievable day. What a cool time to hang out with yourself. Hanging out in the community, people like-minded self-awareness in a class not a yoga class a class of self-study class for getting a little bit cooler knowing yourself a little bit more so you could be of nothing but your best self for the rest of the world not just for you breathe in peace and think about people you love they might be seven and a half socially distant feet away from you I know, I love this shit at all, yeah. Breathe in peace. Breathe out light. And then walk them hands underneath the shoulders. Make your way through the table, silly goose. When you get here, tuck them toes, pull your heart through, smile. Exhale, down dog. Adamuka Svanasana pedal. Pedal, pedal, pedal. Spread the fingers wide. Relax the head, neck, and shoulders. Yeah. Good. Send the heels to the ground. If they don't get there, it's okay. Stretch the skin behind your knees. Lift your knees. Push your chest closer to the ground. Relax your head, neck, and throat. Good. Now gaze between your thumbs. Bend your knees and bring your ass all the way back to your heels and then jump your feet. Inhaling halfway. Arda Uttanasana. Exhale back. Inhale, rise. Tahastasana. Tuck the tail, lift your heart. Hands to heart together. Or heart center, samastiti. Sweep the in. Exhale, hinge at the waist and lead with your heart fold, Uttanasana. As we salute the sun. Inhale, Arda. Exhale, bow. Inhale, rise. Good. Tuck your tail. Maybe a gentle back bend. Hands to the heart center. Bow your head, take a circle. Gaze into the room and inhale. Exhale, hinge and fold, Uttanasana. Inhale, halfway. Exhale, bow. Inhale, rise. Hands to the heart center. All right, let's go. We're going to play. Inhale the arms. Exhale, hinge and fold. Inhale halfway and grab your big toe on your left foot with your peace fingers. Bend the right knee and inhale the left leg. Uttita hasta padanga stasana. Slowly open to the left. Breathe. Come on back. And slowly come on down and fold. Inhale halfway. Exhale out. Inhale, rise. 
spring the left knee. Good. Open it to the left. Thumb and index, or thumb and pinky together as you have your lotus mudra. Dangle your left leg. Good. Send it back at a 45 degree. Bring your hands to the heart center, bending the left knee. Fall deeply. Oh yeah. Now take your right arm out and hold it in line with your foot. Take your left arm and find yourself an arrow, Arjuna. Pull one out. Load it up. Give it a big draw. Let it rip, damn it. Crisscross, other side. All run the arms parallel. Take your right arm back, get your one. Pull it out, load it up. Get it deep, aim it. Let it rip, crisscross, other side. Nicely done, silly goose. One more time, we reach. Load. Let it rip. Good job. Now frame that right foot, all 10 toes, face forward. Look to the front of your mat. When you're ready, inhale, left leg high. Keep your right hand down. And open to the left, Ardha Shangrasana. Good, breathe. All righty. Bend the left knee. Bring it in, grab the big toes. Extend it out to the left. Nice, and then slowly come to stand. Oh shit. <laughs> <laughs> Bring the foot through center. Release and fold. Nothing to it. Inhale, Ardha Uttarasana. Exhale back. Inhale, rise. <laughs> Good. Hands to heart center. Find a space that's a little more level now you know what you're in for. Inhale, the arm. Exhale back. Inhale, halfway. Grab the big toes on the right foot. Generous bend to the left. Find your twisty and inhale the right leg high. Let's slowly open to the right. Come back to your center. Slowly fall. Inhale, halfway. Exhale, bow. Inhale, rise. Bring the hands overhead. Lift the right knee. Open it to the right. Pinky and thumb together. Open your lotus foot drop. Dangle your branch. Good. Hands start center. Send the right foot back. Flexing the left foot. You bend the right knee. Reach back and get you one. Extend your left arm. All right, aim your arrow now. Go get you one. Load it up good. Pull on it far. Get dramatic. Look out over your left. Let it rip, crisscross. Dig into those thighs. Reach back to left hand, get you one. Load it up good. Pull it across your chest like you mean it. Let it rip, crisscross. Oh yeah. Last one, get you. Make sure it hits the mark. Aim for something you love. Pull on it now. Deal with the shit that's in the inevitable part of the day. Let it rip, crisscross. Yes, yeah, frame that left foot. Ten toes, face. Get to the front of your mat as you inhale the right leg. Standing split. Keep your left hand down and open to the right arm. It should drop. Breathe. Breathe, half moon. Bend that right knee in. Grab your big toe. Extend it to the right. And then slowly inhale left. Oh, yeah. Bring it to center. Yeah, slowly release and fold. Inhale, rise. Palms get it, palms get it, reach, but stay rooted. Hands to the heart sound. Good job, silly goose. All righty. Not to show you what you can't do, to show you what you can do. Pick up the toes on the left foot. Tuck your tail, shoulders back. In the other right leg. Send it back at a 45 degree angle. Bend this left knee. So it's in line with the angle. Bring the right hip forward. Energize through that right index side of the, of the right foot. Of addressing the one. Slowly extend the left leg. Drop the hands behind you in reverse prayer. Opposite wrists or opposite elbows. Square the hips and shoulders. Fold part of the muscle. Pyramid pose. Inhale up. Release the hands. Rotate the ten toes. Go face the back of the mat. Left foot is at 45 degrees. 
square the hips and shoulders and bend the right knee. Untether the arms and reach them above, Virapatra one. Come out of the gown, come out of the ground. Like a pissed off dreadlock from Shiva himself. Release those hands, reverse prayer. Get opposite elbows, opposite wrists. Extend that right leg. Bringing the left hip forward and the shoulders together. Partners, but it's awesome. Inhale up as you engage the Mula Bandha and rotate the toes on the right foot. Inhale the arms. All ten toes face now the south. New exhale. Hinge and fold. Prasarita. Pados for now. Hands come in line with the feet. The upper body hangs heavy. The crown of the head goes where it goes. Close your eyes. Be introspective. Prasarita Padastanasana is a wonderful barometer for humility. It changes what you think of what the posture or how the posture looks to you. How he does it, the way she does it. Everybody does it different, but with her eyes closed and honesty in the posture, softness in the upper body, grounding stability in the bottom, it all looks exactly the same. Everybody's individual, everybody's got a personality, but our consciousness are of the same vibe. Inhale up, bring the hands out of the shoulders, support the upper body. Good. Now, here, pull the mat toward you. Drop your belly and slowly look up for a strange variation of cow. Drop your belly more, create a little thoracic arch. Exhale, round the back, cat flex of the spine now. Good. Drop belly. Pull your heart through, cow. Exhale, round the back, cow. Come to a neutral spine and pivot the toes on the left foot. Frame it. All ten toes face forward, high left. Now, take a bend to the left knee. Inhale up, weight off the quad. Take your arms to cactus. Good. Take a deep bend now in the right knee. Tuck your tailbone under. Now extend the right leg. Oh, yeah. Lift the heart, lift the uh, Extend the arms out and extend the left leg. Pivot all ten toes, you'll be facing the other way. Ten toes face the back of your mat. Bend the elbows back to cactus. Bend the knee so it's in line with the foot. Bend the left leg deeply. Tuck the tail under. Then extend the back leg. Extend that back leg, yeah! Nice. Extend the right leg and the arms out wide. Rotate all ten toes. This time we drop the arms behind. Interlacing the fingers in Shiva Mudra. Hinge and fold, Prasarita. Manos, Tadasana, see. Breathe, baby. Allow the upper body to be soft. Open the shoulders. Turn inward. Relax. Nice. Floss the shoulder blades. Lift them off the lumbar spine, even though it's not, especially if you play golf. Make space, Haley Huck. They don't want to go, Eddie, I know, man, mine don't either. Then you bring the hands to the lumbar spine. Protect the low body. Lift the pelvic floor and inhale up. Good. Hands to heart center, Anjali Mudra. Step your right feet to meet your left, toes face forward. Samastiti. Inhale. Exhale, back. Inhale, halfway. Bend the knees. Come to your bum. Right away, woo! Right away, woo! What a bit of a help. Flex the feet. Inhale the arms as you bring the heels down. Engage it full. Prasarita. Excuse me. Pashi Mojanasana. Okay, Instagram folks, we're gonna time out for just a sec. Stay tuned, we're right there. You guys, Pashi Mojanasana. I've ordered some takeout, so you guys stay there for about 90 minutes, I'll be back. Good. Back on, Jenny. All righty, kids, a couple more circles of breath. Let's talk about the sacrum. You know that's everybody's favorite topic, but I get uh, a lot of useful knowledge out of it. So what I want you to do is inhale up halfway and elongate. Look up this time. Now tuck only the chin. Feel the length of the cervical spine now. 
Now, do not fold forward, but I want you to exhale completely. Exhale so much so that you pull your navel in close, create space in the abdominal region. And now come on forward, finally, hinge and fold. Fill that void real estate with your quads. Then relax your head, neck, shoulders, and try to regain a natural breath. It's not easy because there's weird real estate going on here. Depend on what you're shaped like, how you are, your spinal health, your flexibility, your attitude. All this shit determines how this posture looks physically, but with your eyes closed, it's the same. Come forward, Paschimottanasana, we stay here for a week. So nice, Al. Breathe peace, relax the skin on your face. Yes, and just lengthen along the side body. Nicely done, kids. Slowly let the hands ride the legs. Good, good, good. Bring your right heel in. Drop it out to the side. Place it on the inside edge of the left and plant the left femur. Plug it in. Flex the left foot, dorsal flex to the foot. Square up your hips and shoulders. Inhale the arms. And on the exhalation, twist to the right. Bring the left hand outside this knee. Lift the heart. Square the shoulder and ring it out. Lift higher. Twist deeper. Untether the posture and bring that right hand to the outer edge of the left foot. Make sure that left foot stays flat. Lift the heart. Left hand comes behind you. The shoulders are square. And you look over that left shoulder and you counter twist. You break the last little bit of fascia and balls and it's just a very Then you come on forward. You look at your foot with determination. Look at it like you're trying to intimidate it. And then look past it because enough of that. Go right by. Keep reaching. Come forward. Come forward. And finally falls, Janusha Sussman. Breathe, please. Inhale out slowly. Good. Take this right knee in, extend. Bring the left knee closer and let it fall out. Place the sole of the foot on the inside edge of the right, plug the right femur in. Move around so you move, so your sit bones are square, your hips and shoulders are square, and that foot is right between your eyebrows. And when you're ready, sitting up 90 degree in the hip, you inhale, reach. And this time on the exhalation, you twist to the left, bring the right hand outside that knee, lift, lift. Exhale, twist. Lane, babies, lane, space, freedom. back to your center. You go right by that knee. Take the left hand outside the right knee. Plant the right hand behind you. Left. 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 Let the sun hit your face. Twist. Soften the body. Freedom. Health. Happiness. These are your undeniable and inalienable rights. Be happy. Be healthy. Be strong. Be flexible. Be free. Come through center and square up over that foot. Give your foot the look. Ooh, you watch it now. Then look right by Keep reaching now. Keep reaching now. Don't forget to empty the belly. You know the space you create when you empty your belly? That real estate is where your soul resides. Come forward and fold. Janu Shirsa. Head to knee. It's the head of the left knee, by the way. Come forward. Come forward. Keep coming forward. Make sure those shoulders are equal distance to the ground and the skin on your face is soft. Make sure there's no contraction left in the neck, head, and shoulders. Keep going forward and create space along that sciatic corridor. The greater sciatic corridor creates space. Lengthen the muscles in your ass. Inhale up. Take the soles together. There we go. That has got to be done whenever there's a new friend in class. I do this for you. It's a gift for me. <laughs> Take your hands and get all Nixon and shit right at the top of the stairs going into the plane. Oh, Nixon. Get yourself some toes. Pull your heart through. Send the shoulders back and down. Lift your heart. Hinge forward from the waist. Hinge forward from the waist. Keep looking up. Hinge it full. Badakanasana. Bound angle. Sit into them sit bones. Don't you lift them. Let your hips go away on their own. Let your hips just settle with an exhalation. And if they're not on the ground, who cares? If they opened a little bit more than the other day, who cares? If they opened a little less than the other day, okay, it's all right. This is you. You learn them yourself, man. Take a different road. You might have taken the bypass here, but you might take the beach road home. So inhale up slow. Keep the toes. Daddy, mandatory eye contact here. 
All right, hover your heels. Lift your heart. <laughs> Michael, you see, you, I'm, I'm looking right by you. I'm looking right through you, McCone. Ready, kid? Let it. <laughs> Look at me, Eddie. Don't smile. This shit's real. It's yoga, son. Lift your heart. Yeah. Lift your heart higher. 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 Let your feet go. Hold high. Higher. Lift your feet higher. Higher. Get your chin your thighs, roll them back and down. Lift your heart, hinge at the waist, hinge it forward. Ubo vista con asada. Find your edge, babies, it don't matter where it is. Yes. <laughs> Ubo vista con asada, everybody's favorite. You love it more today, little bean, I know you do. Breathe peace, man. Breathe peace. Breathe peace. A few more circles of breath. A few more circles of breath. Slowly inhale out. Bring those knees together. Hands to one side, legs to another. Meet me at table. All right, here we go. Shit. What you did in high school. <laughs> Tuck your toes. Oh, daddy. Exhale, round your back. Come to a neutral spine. Inhale the left leg. Exhale, round the back. You need a chest. You embellish the movement. Place the foot at the front of your mat. No lunge. Slowly extend the leg and fold. Arda Hanumanasana. Half good friend. Shit. Who wants a half good friend, Mike McCohen? How about friends like you? A whole one. Come on up, bend the knee. Square up now, baby. What do you do with the edge of the river now when you got to jump? So, Eddie, here it is. Some horrible beast took Roxy, that beautiful woman, to a neighboring island over there, somewhere in the Isle of Kitty Hawk. Well, you're right here at the end of Amy Wells' property. You've got to get her, but you can't swim, white boy. You can't swim. So you get to the edge, and then you jump, honey, mom. Yes! Jump! Get her! <laughs> Exhale, rain and train. Yes, baby. Inhale up. Slide that foot back to meet the left, or to meet the right. Tuck your toes, drop your belt. Look up, smile, sun on your face. Oh, shit, he said. I could have stayed home. Exhale, round the back. Tuck toes, drop your belly. Last quarantine, Roxy. This is it. Exhale, round the back. Neutral spine. Inhale the right leg. I gotta see my beautiful friend Ashley over here. See if she loves her Hanuman. Inhale the right leg. Exhale round the back. Come on. Extend the right leg. Fold out the Hanuman. Inhale up. Bend the knee and square the hips. I want you to look. Not at your toe. Where you gotta go. So go ahead and frame that foot. Get out there and put blocks if you want. Or send the left leg back. Look at me, Haley Huggins. I need mandatory eye contact. You jump, Hanuman. Woo. And you fly. Yes! Ha ha Read it, Fred. Yes, I'm go, little bean. Go, Tommy Hart. Move around now. Noodle, look at your body. Feel what's going on. Three hamstrings. Embrace the sun on your neck, redneck. Come on forward. Bring the right knee to meet the left. Toes together, knees out wide. Velocity child's pose. Beautiful job, silly gooses. <laughs> Eddie, be 5'11 by the time we're done. Relax. That's not true. I've been doing this shit for years. Look at me. I'm like a jockey, a fat jockey. Relax now. Reach between your legs. Grab your feet. Take to one cheek. And act like a real baby. Child, this is how babies sleep. Put your bum down. Yes. Few circles of breath. That's my friends make sounds. Ah, Hanuman. Oh, vibration, a sea of vibration. An ocean of vibration. Yeah. Come on up. Welcome, bring your knees closer together. Come forward, you can tuck the toes or not, it doesn't matter. Me first, back bend, you sit on your heels. 
untuck the toes if you'd like to go a little deeper in your wrist, fasten that camel. Peace fingers again. They straddle the Achilles heel, your thumb gets into the pad and sun. You've got to get rid of the shoulders. You've got to tuck the tail out and protect the lumbar spine. So get rid of them shoulders, Eddie, get rid of them. Open the heart, tuck your tail now, lift your heart. Ustrasana. Lift. Send the pelvis towards me. Lift your heart. Drop the bags of bullshit that don't serve you no more. Let them slide from your heart to the ground. That's it. Ah, Hanuman. Yeah, Vishnu. Yes. Slowly bring the chin to the chest. Spread your knees wider. Take another child's pose. Ah, oh, Hanuman. If you look at Hanuman when he rips his hands open, he sees that monkey figure. He's got Vishnu in his chest. Divinity between his ribs. You do too. <laughs> Why leave it just to Hanuman to have God in his chest? God could do himself all in that package underneath that shirt of yours. God could do himself. Everything you need. Right there. Slowly come on forward. Bring your legs out to one side. Your hands to another. Make your way to your back. Good. Lily, would you come up and give him a little wheel for me? My wrist is a little tough. The next back bend you can practice is a restorative back bend, kind of a block anyway. Where you could go ahead and place a block under the sacrum and just do a restorative back bend. So placing the block right here, you're just gonna lay on and extend the legs and relax. For those of you who would like to practice a little more energetic back bend, this is Red Vatana Rasana Shakrasana, or wheel. Heels to the sit bones, hands under the scapula, and then you lift your heart, which is simply beautiful, by the way. Come on out whenever you're ready and give yourself a hug. So take the back bend of your choice for no less than eight breaths. If you're in a restorative back bend, stay longer. Thank you, though. If you want to do another bridge, or a bridge, go ahead and do Setu Bandha Sharmagasana. So Eddie, land, if you want to do, move that block first, Eddie, and leg your way to your back. Bring your heels into your sit bones. Good. Now, pick your ass up. Place the block under the sacrum, the fused part of the spine. Yeah. Then put it down and extend your legs and extend your arms overhead. So extend your legs towards me and relax them. Put your arms up high, palms face up. Now relax them. Drop everything to the sand and just become a broken teeter dog. Perfect. Delightful. Perfect, will be, and that is absolutely splendid. Beautiful. Stay as long as you want in your back bends. Perfect, Ashley Everybody, rocking it. Bending your backs the way they're right. Bending your backs the way your back needs to be bent, the way it wants to be bent. Resetting the symmetry of the pelvis, creating symmetry back to the pubic symphysis, taking cant out of the body. Reuniting mind, body, spirit, soul, and symmetry. Union of strength, flexibility to create stability. Good. When you're ready, come on out, give yourself a knees to chest squeeze. Remove the block carefully. Right. That's it on your back bands, baby. Now we're going to invoit Miss Crofton. Can I bug it? On oh, the screen, is funky on this one, baby. I just noticed because of the glare, sorry. All right, come to sit for a second. Extend your legs towards the sky. Roll along and sit on your bum. We're going to talk about invoisions, which is the Jersey vernacular for inversion. All good, Miss Croutons? Yes. Is time out or something? It did. <laughs> Poor thing. Which one is that? You do? Uh, yeah. <laughs> All right, we're going to invert. The reason we do this is because lymphatic fluid has, your lymph system has no natural pump, and the shit all wants to pull on your ankles. So we're going to change lymphatic flow, getting your hips higher than your heart. We have options. The very first one is restorative inversion. That's going to be feet up in the air, dead butt. This is wonderful. Just a restorative inversion and feel the lymphatic flow just whoosh, flow in the opposite direction. Takes everything down. No swelling in the ankles, no pooling in the ankles. Then you can make your way to shoulder stand if you'd like. This is Shalamba Sharvangasana. Lift the hips, cause the shoulder blades. Hands walk down the spine. Elbows come closer together. The energy happens with an internal rotation of the thighs. And the ankles go towards the sky. Dristy stays at the nose third eye or to the toes, never to the side. Don't look around. Who gives a shit? Whatever he's doing next to you. And the next one would be after that, if you'd like to, Shir Sasana, Erdvarik Sasana, Pinchamaya Rasana, Rajande Vedantapa. 
Beer Sausage has a headstand without compressing the spine. You cradle the head, crown of the head, not here or here, and you come to the radius of the forearms as you place them elbow distance apart. Engage, tuck your toes, lift your knees, walk them in, drizzy to the tip of the nose. Keep walking, walk it, walk it to the balance of the ass comes back. You inhale up. Send the energy through the forearm, the drifty to the tip of the nose. You inhale, no compression of the cervical spine, no great amount of weight on the top of the head. You can stay there for a week. And now when you're ready, come out under control, hopefully under a slightly cracked faucet of an exhalation, and take Balasana, child's pose. Good. Your shoulder standards do fish. That's your, that's your thing. Well done, man. And go make your way upside down, silly gooses. Change your perspective. Let lymphatic flow. Flow. Yes. And I cannot wait to adjust it all again. I can't wait. This distancing shit ain't for me. Whatever that is. It's like I think I shut us off or something. I don't know that. I don't think I'm on. Sorry. <laughs> Good. Eddie, bring your heels back a little more so your ass go higher, and then bring your elbows slightly closer together. Yes! Now send them heels to the sky. Well done. Good job, kid. Lily using the hill for shoulder stand. So smart. God, my child is so much smarter at 14 than I am at 50. Good. And take the appropriate counter pose. Don't rush. Stay here as long as you want. Shoulder standards, it's going to be much nice, Taylor. Going to be Matiasana or fish, crown of the head down, heart is lifted, spread the ribs wide. And you're gonna do what Roxy's doing now. So the hands are gonna come under your bum, palms face down, the crown of the head's going to the mat, you lift ass down, head down, heart high. Yes! Point your toes, lift the chest, spread the ribs wide. Perfect. Nice job. When you're done with your appropriate inversion and appropriate counter pose, I invite you to make your way to your back as we take a little recline twist and break the last little bit of fascia of the glute along the rib cage. Great. And just let the breath take some of that off you. Let the knee follow the exhalation, not the image of the posture. One of the namas and niyamas observes these constraints is called truthfulness and honesty. Sometimes what happens in the practice, the ego picks out your leggings in the morning and it drives the practice. You can't. When you start here and you get this far in your practice, we are well past even the individual soul. We're into the atma, the inner self. So you let the breath take the knee. You're mindful to keep your shoulder blades down, flat, square. And then you slowly inhale the knees back through center. Good. Push down with the feet, pick your ass up, scooch it to the left, a good beat past center. Drop those knees to the right, your gaze to the left. Any mudra with the legs necessary, you want to cross the legs, putting the left over the right, whatever serves you. If you have the legs open, you want to put the right foot over the left ankle, whatever serves you. Keep the spine parallel with the long edge of your mat. Allow the upper back to be flat and the arms are a friend. Let the sun hit your other cheek. You may even look over. Well, those moves. Squeeze the last few drops of the sun and your recline twist if you can. Allow the last little bit of symmetry to set and settle. And bring your belt yourself back through center. Good. Square the hips. Bring the knees into the chest. Give yourself a squeeze. Okay. Make two circles to the right, two circles to the left. <coughs> Bring the heels down low to massage the low sacrum. Right above the coccyx and all the tendinal attachments. Good. Now bring them back through center when you're ready. And I want you to take a big inhale. Good. And as you exhale, squeeze those knees closer. As your belly scoops out, squeeze them closer to your chest. Keep squeezing. Good, good. And when you're completely out of air, 
Lift your shoulder blades and your head and chin to your knees. Squeeze yourself tight as a sea. Hold. Hold, and when you can take it no more, let everything go. And fall into the arms of a friend. Let your feet splay out wide. Your hands come to your side. Your palms face up. And you have trust falling into that rubber mat of yours that caught you. And it will. And I will. And it will. And it will. And I promise you, you can hold me to this. My feet to the fire. That mat will catch you every time you trust fall into it. So take your traction out of your body as we prepare for Shavasana. Soften the skin. Take contraction out of every muscle and fiber and gut. Soften the soles of your feet. Palms of your hands. Every last fidget. Every last crack. Then release your breath. Let it come in and out under its own volition, soft, shallow, however it need be. Then soften the skin on your face. Relax the low jaw, the tongue in the mouth. Breathe peace. Smooth the skin between your eyebrows. Breathe light. Exhale fear, babies. Exhale judgment. Breathe in light, love. Exhale laughter. Breathe in peace and think about everybody you love just some, or maybe just one that ain't here right now, or isn't here at the moment. We'll find him in a new set of clothes somewhere in our bed. Breathe in love and love and revisit your intention. Breathe in light, love and laughter and appreciate how much more you are than what shows up in the mirror. Physical beauty is absolutely breathtaking. There's no question about it. No question about it. But shit, that carcass of yours, kid? Shit. Do you think for one moment that carcass of yours could ever house your whole soul? Now your mind. You are way more than this. You are way more than this. Breathe in peace. Breathe out love and let my friend for a spin.
imagination does not exist. You should come close to me tonight, Wayfair, for I'll be celebrating you. Your beauty still causes me madness, keeps the neighbors complaining. And I start shouting in the middle of the night because I can't bear all this joy. I will be giving birth to sons. I will be holding forests upside down, gently shaking soft animals from trees and burrows into my lap. What you conceive as imagination does not exist for me. Whatever you could do in a dream or on your mind canvas, my hands can pull alive from my coat pocket. But let's not talk about my divine world. For what I most want to know tonight is all about you. At some point, your relationship with God will become like this. Next time you meet him in a forest or in a crowded city street, there won't be any more leaving. That is, God will climb into your pocket. You will simply just take yourself along. yourself back to your space. Wiggle just your nose. Then a few toes. Your fingers, and then maybe lick your lips. And roll your head from side to side. Heavy and slow. <clears throat> until it yearns one way or another and you follow it onto one side. So I've been giving you a little bit of sutras lately and um, I can't help it. There's more to this class than flexibility of the spine. And I'm studying so much more now and that just makes me crazy filled with information. And uh, he started class with one month. Atta Yoga Nushasana. We commenced in the practice of asana and yoga. Now we're still enough for Yoga Chitta Vrita Narodaha. Yoga is the cessation of the fluctuations of a busy mind. Wow, how about that? We wiggled and squiggled till our bodies were still, and then when our bodies were still, our mind could settle. And when our mind settled, you saw yourself. Now, we jump book, chapter two. Uh oh. Sadhana, where we let yoga live, where we live yoga. So there, two to three, we get a little bit in deeper now, is Ishvari Pranidana Ha. Ishvari Pranidana Ha. And this is where all you have to do is just render to the divinity in yourself. You can surrender to the God above, if that's your faith, it doesn't matter. Your spirituality is nothing but strength in here. Your self realization, your self awareness has done nothing more than help you strengthen the spirituality in which you exist. But, Sooner or later, surrender to the divinity in yourself because you are divine. You are divine. So come take your divine behinds up to a seated position, whatever you're in. All righty, baby. Um, Self study is. Uh, if you weren't a good student or you didn't like to learn, who cares? If you practice yoga, but you claim to not be a good student when you were in school. When I was in high school, I was a terrible student. When I was a kid, I couldn't stand school. In college, I was burnt out. I was this, I was that. If you practice yoga, you're a good student. You're a student of yourself, you know? And self-study is uh, how do you cheat? How do you cheat at a self-study of exam? <laughs> how do you do it? You cannot be honest in your practice, you can do it, but 
the answer is always right in front of you. You're sitting in it, you know? And the more we learn, how, I don't know, I, it's funny, I don't know why there's not 10,000 people. If there was 10,000 people that lived on this road, there should be 99, 99, 99 here. Because, and I know that sounds ridiculous, but it's, uh, all we're doing here is uh, just taking the awareness in ourselves and the light in ourselves, like you make that cheesy parallel with light, and then growing it. And then, you know, it gets my snowball of kindness gets big enough where it meets Jenny's, and Jenny's bumps into Emily's, and Emily's bumps into Michael's, and uh, now we're just this, you know those big inflatable balls? I bought these for my kids, where you blow them up and they get inside them and run into each other? Man, think about that. We've got this giant periphery of this bubble of love around us. We should be bumping into each other all day long like cells. The problem is maybe everybody's got love in their hearts and everything else, but we got to get love in every single cell of our body and let them all just bounce around and bumble around and just play pinball in our hearts, you know? And, uh, and that's an old metaphor. I dated myself with a pinball joke, but um, it's, uh, it's pretty important that we take this practice out all we came here to do is sharpen it up, to sharpen it up a little bit, and then now you got to take it out, and then you got to take it out. Yoga hasn't started for another 10 minutes. So it'll start when you're on your way home. You got something nice to say to someone you love, or when your dog comes up to you, you're actually listening because your dog's got his tail waving around. He's so excited to see you, except Tito. Tito bites, and uh, <laughs> I make fun of him. So. Um, or your kid comes up to you and wants to tell you something. Or your mother wants to tell you something about a cousin you don't give a shit about. But you sit there and you listen, you know. And that's exactly what my day is going to be. There's going to be a dog waving his tail and a kid with something to say. And my mom's going to tell me a story about a cousin I haven't talked to in 40 years. And you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to listen. I'm going to listen. I'm going to listen. Because that's what they deserve. And the people in my life that mean everything to me deserve me being present for it. And I can't do that unless I do this with y'all. So thanks for being my teacher again today. Put your hands to heart center. Don't take for granted your breath. Breathe peace all day. Breathe light all day. Breathe light all day. Be kind. Love begets love, babies. The light bees sings. The light bees absolutely blinded by yours. Namaste. That's the Bohemian Song Society. Amen. Thank you all very much. Peace and light, y'all. Peace and light. Have a wonderful day. Make them dance, kitties. Make them dance. Woo-hoo-hoo. Thank you, thank you.
Yeah, oh, I'm stuck. 